Hey, I'm Nikki Wu and welcome to my channel. Today, I'm so excited, y'all don't even know. I'm gonna do a review of the Top Thin Small Gravel Vacuum. I've been wanting one of these for a really long time and um, I can't even believe, like, I didn't get it. It's only $10, like I didn't realize they were so inexpensive, so. Anyway, and, and I know I've seen them on Amazon for like the extra small one, even cheaper than that, but um, I just decided today was just gonna just do it. So, um, I am a little worried that it's not gonna fit into my tank, but um, we'll see. So, this is Fireball, and we've had Fireball for like three months now, and um, cleaning his tank has been good except for he has white gravel, so you can see like all the crud that I don't get when um, I clean it um, just by jostling the gravel and then scooping the water out or siphoning it out or however I've decided to clean it that day. But, um, so I'm really hoping that this will help. So, let's try it. Okay, this is Fireball and I've taken a few things out of his tank so that I can easily get the siphon um, cleaner in there. Um, look, he's hamming it up for you. He's such a crazy little fish. He's not scared of anything, um, but he's beautiful. So, okay, so here it is, and the directions are on the back, so um, I'm gonna take it out. It looks like it's just gently, it's like stuck in the paper, so I'm just gonna Pull this out. So here's the siphon. So the first thing I learned with, I, I had actually bought one earlier from Walmart. So Walmart sells them too, but it was too big. I couldn't get this in the water. So this needs to be able to be submerged fully under the water. So I think it's gonna work. So there's that. This was attached here. This is a little clip so that you can clip it onto your bucket. The one at Walmart did not have that. And um, let's see. Now it looks as if I think I can just pull the little tube out. And it has some tape on it, a little plastic that you'll want to remove. The other one was a little easier than this end. Okay, there we go. And, oh, I can't get it off. We wanna put the, attach the end of the hose to the little nozzle on your siphon. And this should be difficult, I'm sure, because you want it to be airtight so that no water leaks. And I know I had read that if you have a problem doing this, then you can put it under some hot water and it'll make it a little bit more pliable and you'll be able to more easily get it in there. But All right, there we go. So you want a bucket, which I have here left over from St. Patty's Day from the Dollar Tree, my favorite store. And you wanna make sure that your bucket, the directions say the bucket is lower than the tank, in this case, bowl. I should tell you that Fireball is housed in a four gallon bowl. So, not quite the five that they, well, I think it's three to five is the least that you, know, you can read that you should have for a beta tank. So, we went somewhere right in the middle. All right, Fireball. He seems to love it. He seems to love it. Okay, so that's what I get for not reading the directions. I should have actually, this is the end that I should have put the siphon on. So I'm gonna do that now. All right, so it's on there. Now I need to take my little clip and I'm gonna hook it onto the bucket, I'll show you. Okay, so there's the clip. The clip is just attached to the side and then the hose goes through the middle so that any water that we have coming out can go into our little bucket we have. I don't know if you call it a bucket, it is kind of tiny, but it'll work. 
tank. It's a small tank, right? Okay, so it's telling me to do everything that I've done and then I need to submerge this nozzle into the aquarium and then squeeze the siphon ball three to five times until the siphoning begins. Some gravel will rise slightly as the debris is removed, but it will fall as the novel is lifted. The basket inside the cap will keep the small fish and the gravel from being sucked into the coat into the hose. So you can see there's a little basket that will prevent anything um, too big, like a fish, <laughs> um, from going into your bucket. Okay, and then when it needs to be emptied, when our bucket here needs to be emptied, all um, I have to do is to remove the vacuum from the water to stop the flow, okay? And then repeat the process as needed. So, the first thing I'm gonna do is go unplug my heater and my uh, filter. Okay, we've got the siphon in the tank. And I started it, but I forgot to start the video, so I apologize. But okay, so I'm gonna stick it all the way in, and I'm gonna pump it. One, two, three, four, five. Let's see if we can get it to start going. Okay, there we go, it's going. And all you do is move it around, and it seems to be sucking up all of the yucky at the bottom, which is good. This is working good. Okay, so see how the hose is here and hooked on there? And then if you look, it, his tank is pretty clean, but you can see all that little, those little specks, all of that is the debris that was at the bottom of his tank. So it works good. Look who's come to see what's going on. Okay, so that's all I did because I don't want to take out more than 25% uh, of the tank. So I think I'm probably right around 15, 20%. Um, so I'm going to turn his light on and I'm going to fill it with some clean water that I have sitting over here that's come to room temperature that I've treated with a water uh, clarifier that takes out the chlorine and everything else. And then also um, just a couple of drop, drops of Smart Start, which is kind of like helps you cycle your tank so that you you don't have an overgrowth of bacteria that will cloud the water. Okay, so I'm gonna come right over here. Gonna plug it in. So, ah! okay, so I have some water here. Look, there's the filter starting up. Ah, I'm horrible at this. Let me go slowly. Slowly. There we go. All right. So it's a little cloudy right now. I don't know if you can tell, but it's going to clear up. So I'm going to show you. Come back and stuff floating around in there. And that's because we've disturbed it. It's also because we have this plant in here and it's currently pollinating. It has just really gone like on a super duper growth spurt recently, right Fireball? So I'm gonna add Fireball's um, house back, his little hideaway house and um, let it sit. So things have gotten a little bit out of sorts as I move the gravel. That is one thing I guess to consider when you're moving the gravel around, if you have live plants or fake plants for that matter, it's gonna probably disturb them a little bit. So now, oh my goodness, that's another thing. He is a little stinker. He, fireball, the girls, him by hand so whenever you stick your hand in there he tries to eat it <laughs> it doesn't hurt them all right are you hungry all right and then he has one of these like little perchy things I'm gonna wipe it off where 
they drop his, sometimes they drop his food on this perch and watch him eat. And then other times they just feed him by, by hand. Uh, they do wash their hands uh, really well, make sure there's no soap residue or anything off, and then they feed him by hand. He enjoys it, I think, and they do too. Be back in maybe an hour and see how clear his tank is. Okay, it's a day two. I cleaned uh, Fireball's tank yesterday, so I wanted to take you over there with me to see how the um, water settled and to see if. Um, also, did it really suck up all the gunk at the bottom or did it just resettle underneath the white all gravel? Right. Hey, Fireball. So, definitely the water is clear, but the real test, oh, he's showing out, look at him, is going to be the gravel underneath. And there is a little bit of residual um, gunk down there, but for the most part, for as much as I took out, and remember, I didn't do that much. It really did suck a lot of the nastiness out of there. Let's see. I really did a good job of cleaning inside the tank. So, I give it a thumbs up. Definite thumbs up. Okay, so for the top fin, a small gravel cleaner uh, that cleans one to 10 gallons of water, I'd say it's definitely worth the $10 I spent for it. I think it did a great job. What do you think, Fireball? He says he likes it too. So if you like this review, give me a thumbs up at the bottom and uh, leave me a comment. And uh, if you've tried it, let me know how you like it or if you've tried something else that you think you like better. See you next time.